Vice was nominated for in quite a few categories, mm. and I think the only one, probably the only one it won, was was makeup and yep. hairstyling, which was deserved. I mean, I s there were like two other two other nominees. There was Border, which is a Swedish film, which I mm. know nothing about, and there was Mary Queen of Scots, which I've seen the trailer of, and I wanted to see it, but it unfortunately it. Uh, it didn't stay in in our local theater long enough mm. for me to see it, but but with Vice, it's I mean that was a clear cut win. Mm. It, there was no way anybody else was going to take it away because mm. because that that makeup com combined with Christian Bale's performance no. is just I mean he is Dick Cheney mm. in that movie. No. It's weird to see that. I really have to see it. Yeah. I can't believe it that I have yet to see that movie because it's. I find it so interesting, and I, I might be going on a bit of a tangent here, but um, I don't know if you've seen the Donald Rumsfeld documentary. What was it? The Unknown Unknown. Uh, no, I haven't. No. Yeah. It's a really good documentary, and he seems like a smart guy. Yes. And then, um, because having him played with by Steve Carell is also. <laughs> <laughs> But that area, just these people really interest me, and I've seen a lot of backlash from uh, from uh, some conservatives about the movie that is the same old thing that liberals are just bashing uh, these uh, conservative uh, presidents and uh, higher ups as these embodiments of evil, yeah. without any moral conscience at all, yeah. and. Um, Christian Bale didn't really help because when he got the Golden Globe for it, he said he thanks Satan for for, for inspiration. So, yeah, but Dick Cheney. I mean, I I really follow followed that uh, time of American mm. politics. I I was interested in that time, and I thought that that I uh, Dick Cheney really really was one of the most powerful mm. people in the world, and he really really seemed to be. Uh, I mean. Uh, the time he shot his friend in the face with mm. a shotgun and was able to get that friend to apologize to him <laughs> for being in the way when that when actually happened yeah, yeah, yeah i mean the guy apologized to the vice president yeah. that the vice president had shot him in the face as you do <laughs> <laughs> of of all the um what what was it like the the grief and backlash of media attention ah, that he got yeah. from that that was that that tells you've got some power. That, I That's mean, true. You're, you're, that is true. If you have to do stuff <laughs> like that. Then have you seen the bit where um, the Sasha Baron Cohen's uh, "This Is America," where he is impersonating this um, uh, Mossad agent? Eh, eh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and he's talking to Dick Cheney no, I and gets him it. to sign a waterboarding kit or something like that. <laughs> it's, it's insane. It's, so it's it's a really it's, it's a really curious area there. Like, what are these people actually? Yeah, yeah. In terms of um, in terms of the film itself, I don't think that it's as good as the mm. Big Short. I thought the Big Short was, and it's a very similar film in mm. a lot of ways because it uses these kinds of uh, techniques that we're not used to seeing in biopics or mm. things that y you know they're, they're telling stories about real events and then you mm. suddenly have something completely extraneous yeah. coming into the picture. I think they're very refreshing, but they, they, I thought that Vice was sort of, it wasn't as inventive because mm. we'd seen those things before and also it wasn't as, I think, engagingly told. But but in terms of just being that similar kind of movie, I'd happily see mm. 10 more like yeah. it. You get to do before you get in. You want the throne or you want to make free. He's going down. So is he. That guy over there's a real prick, but in a good way. How can someone be a prick in a good way? Scram. You leak to the press to damage enemies or push your agenda, then. You get mad about the leak and you use it as an excuse to keep people out of meetings. So you control messaging and you control access. It's brilliant. And then Christian Bale's performance is just, it's just fucking incredible. Yeah. And no, everybody else is good as well. I mm. think Steve Carell is really good as Rumsfeld mm. and, and uh, 
and uh, uh, what's his name it was Bush. Um, Sam Rockwell was yeah. really good uh, as, as as Bush, also nominated, um, and and uh, Cheney's wife. Yeah. Um, so. So yeah, I, I think that it's it's a, uh, it's a it's well worth seeing. <laughs>